one of the best things that Xcode has introduced in the recent time is support for the Swift Package Manager. You can go directly into the file and add a package dependency directly to your project. You can just paste the URL here from a remote package. And that's the inconvenient. Xcode right now doesn't support packages that are hosted locally, even if the Swift Package Manager is happy with them. You can actually add a dependency, but it needs to be a remote dependency. But then you can check out that project locally, drag that project into Xcode, and Xcode is smart enough to know that you want to use the local dependency instead of the remote one. That's fine, and that works. The problem is when that dependency is not hosted anywhere. And I agree that it's a scenario that in Teams, it probably doesn't happen. But if you're working on a side project and you have your code locally because you're trying something, you don't want to have to create a GitHub repo and keep pushing your changes all the time just to make Xcode happy. But there is a way of making it work. As an example, let's take a look at this Xcode project that I just had open. And I have another library that is a sweep package by its side. What you need to do first is grab the folder of the package and drag it into Xcode. You will see that it shows up with this package icon. Make sure you don't drag the package file, but unfortunately, that's not enough. Even if in recent betas, it looks like Xcode detects the library and it actually compiles fine. The problem is when you start using the library, and of course, you made some mistake, so you go to the library file and fix it, When you go back to your project and compile, Xcode doesn't see the change. It doesn't see the change because it's not recompiling the library itself. We could switch to the library and compile it manually, but that's not a nice workflow. You may be tempted to go to the project, Swift Packages, and be surprised that it's not there. And that's because the UI, it doesn't know anything about the trick we just did. And if we click on plus, you see that it's exactly the same interface that we see from the file menu. Instead, what you need to do is to go to build phases, link binary with libraries, and you need to add the package here. And you can see that it has the library icon. Don't add this because you can't. You need to add the library. And once you do this, you know that there is some change because now Xcode knows there is some framework in there. And if we go back to our project and we compile, we see how the library has been compiled and the change is now available. This is really nice because you can work on your main application while updating the library at the same time. And that's it for this short video. I just wanted to share this with you because the other day I spent a couple of good hours figuring out how to do it. Hopefully new Xcode versions add support for local dependencies and this trick it's not needed anymore. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. See you all next time.